Welcome back to another episode of the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. I am your host, Matt Powers. Thank you again for joining me. And today's topic is a good one and one I think that everybody is curious about and is an item they would probably want to have in their collection. And that is a Michael Jordan autographed jersey. And today's topic is what should you pay for a Michael Jordan autographed jersey? So let's first set the couple parameters here before I get into what I think you should pay and what, what's a good price for a Jordan Upper Deck authenticated jersey, okay? And first thing I just mentioned there is, number one, make sure that you get an Upper Deck authenticated jersey, okay? Yes, they have quality ones out there that are, you know, maybe PSA or JSA. Uh, if you do go that route... Just make sure that you're getting a an officially licensed jersey, and b that you you know you run the signature by maybe some of your collector friends who are familiar with Jordan's autograph. Get some opinions on it. Make sure that you feel comfortable on it. Yes, JSA and PSA may have passed it, but make sure that you are 100% uh, comfortable with the autograph. But yes, making sure that you get an upper deck authenticated autograph. That's of course Jordan's exclusive company. He signed with them forever and ever and ever. Make sure you get something that's authenticated by them. Second thing is, um, when it comes to upper deck authentication, is you know they lost their database. I think from the previous years of 2001 on, so anything earlier than 01, I believe they've they've lost. So you have to like email them and do this crazy little deal. We ask them to verify the number. So if that's an issue for you, which I could you know definitely understand. Before buying your jersey, uh, make sure that you get the number from the seller and say, I just want to check the number in the database. Numbers in the database, they've got the card, signature checks out, jersey's good quality, then you know, hey, you know, you're know, you good to go and you've got a nice quality piece there. Uh, the second thing is when you're getting a Jordan jersey is to make sure that you get a red one. Now, you may want to get different colors. You may not care, but a red, number 23, is the most popular Jordan jersey, bar none. It's not even close. That's what everybody wants, okay? Um, so those would be my kind of two tips for you when you're getting, deciding what Jordan jersey to get, okay? Again, Upper Deck Authenticated, make sure you're getting a Red Bulls one if that's what you want to get. You know, you can obviously get a North Carolina one if you're a Carolina fan, and those are actually really, really cool. Those are, those are sometimes harder to find than the Bulls ones, it seems like, at least good prices. So, all right, so now let's get to the main topic here. What should you pay for a Jordan jersey. Now, Jordan jersey prices are like everything else. They are all over the map, okay? You've got different quality stuff. You've got stuff with inscriptions. you got the 23 jersey. you got the 45 jersey. you got the red jersey. you got the white jersey. you got so many different options with Jordan. You know, I've seen these jerseys, depending on which one they are, whether they're limited edition or not, sell from 1200 to 9600 bucks or so. Like, they're just all over the place, Okay. I've seen just straight red ones sell from about 1200 to, you know, 3500 ish or so. You can get them on the Upper Deck website for 3500 And, you know, I always tell people, yes, we all kind of want to look for a deal. But when it comes to a Jordan jersey, you know, this is going to be the centerpiece of your collection. You may want to bite the bullet on this one and buy something direct from Upper Deck. You know, I, I, I hate people saying – I hate – hate people paying full retail for something like above retail, which is kind of what upper deck is. But you know, I don't know. It's just, I just think you could just, obviously you're going to get a hundred percent authentic item. You know, the quality is going to be there and you're going to have your receipt from upper deck. So, you know, it's going to be a really, really good piece for you and your collection. And you'll sleep better night knowing that you spent an extra, you know, 500 to a thousand dollars getting the exact item that you want. You're not worried about the authenticity at all. And I think that's obviously a great thing when it comes to spending that much amount of money on it. So the million dollar question is what would, you know, you as a customer, what would I think you should pay as a good price for an autographed Red Bulls jersey, number 23, no condition issues. You know, it's got all the upper deck authentication. Everything's in the database. Signature quality is great. Obviously, it's official licensed jersey, all that kind of stuff. You know, I, I think you could probably stick it out and try to find one for maybe 2500 You might find one there popping up every now and then. But I think if you pay anywhere from 2500 to 3500 for a Jordan red jersey, I think you're probably doing okay. You're doing pretty good. You know, if you're getting closer to $3,000, you are probably doing pretty good. And if you get to the $2,500, you are probably doing really, really good. So, 
you know, that's kind of the budget you're looking for, for having arguably the greatest sports figure of all time who's still alive and who's still signing, obviously. But you know what? He commands a good price for his autograph. You know, Jordan is a worldwide figure. So um, it's something that everybody wants to have in their collection, and you're just going to have to pay a good price for it. So uh, that's what I think you should, should uh, would be a good price to pay, you know, the 2500 to 3500 range. And, um, and, you know, get a nice quality jersey. Again, you know, just to reiterate, upper deck, try to get a red jersey if that's what you're into. And double check to make sure all that upper deck information is in the database if you're not getting it directly um, from upper deck. So, you guys got any questions on that, you know, let me know. I know Jordan is a super popular autograph. Please, please do yourself a favor. Don't try to play the guessing game with him on stuff that's not certified. You know, it's just, it. some of you guys are pretty good at that, but majority of us aren't. So, when you're spending that much amount of money for the centerpiece of your collection, do it right, man. That way you only have to do it once and you don't got to jack around with these idiots that have this uncertain stuff that you're just not really sure about. So anyway, that's today's topic. If you guys got any questions, let me know. And if you want to visit the website, check out the Jordan stuff that we have, which right now is nothing because he's so darn popular. But uh, maybe I'll be picking some stuff up in the near future here. But the website is powersportsmobilia.com. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, at powersautographs. We'll see you guys on the next one.